Hi guys, welcome back. It's Melissa in Minnesota. I hope you're all having a very wonderful day. It has been a long time and it feels a little weird being in front of the camera again. But uh, you know, I've taken off for a while and just kind of stepped away from social media and uh, just kind of refocused. It's snowing outside my window now. Uh, my boys absolutely love it. They're snowboarders so they spend almost every hour that they can uh, at our local ski hill and they are just having a great time. Yesterday we had sun and it felt so good. We had uh, high school conferences so for my older son we went and did that and the teachers even noticed as we were uh, talking to them they're like yeah everybody's really upbeat and it's because the sun was out. So that's just kind of the way it is but I don't know as I get older I've lived here um, almost 24 years now uh, almost, uh, I believe this year will be uh, half of my life I'm now uh, a Midwesterner versus being a Southerner. I will always be a Southerner, but it's just I will have lived more in Minnesota than I have anywhere else on the East Coast. So uh, <laughs> it's just, oh man, I don't know. That's kind of another thing that's kind of, I mean, yeah, people think that's not a big deal, but for me, I'm having kind of a rough time dealing with that, I think. I, I don't know. My husband's like, why? I'm like, well, I was always a Southern girl, and this is just a part of myself that I don't know being a Midwesterner living here more I didn't when I came here I didn't think it was going to be forever I don't know what I was thinking but it was just uh just thoughts going out into the universe here but uh also stepping away from my channel a little bit and I have been a little bit on Instagram but just kind of refocusing about what I want to do with my channel going forward and how I want to represent uh, Melissa in Minnesota and you guys know I'm all about 100% gluten free because that is my lifestyle that's uh, since 2013 that's that's how I've had to live my lifestyle and I, I, I want to go back to um, how I you know, my diagnosis, the videos when I first put them up were filmed on my laptop and they're not the most excellent of quality. The information I still think highly stands and is very informative, but just the quality of those videos. So I think I want to go back and redo some of those videos and uh, just get that information out. Maybe a little bit of simpler form because I have been living this lifestyle for quite a while now. Uh, how it affected my family, how it affected my boys. They're now teens now, but you know, because of how sensitive I was, our whole household had to go gluten free from everything, not just food, but also topical products and things like laundry detergent, anything that I could possibly inhale, breathe. That was things that I figured out that first couple years of how sensitive I was and those things affected me just as much as if I had eaten them. If they contained gluten, I definitely knew that there was a reaction to it. Things, uh, you know, topically on my skin, uh, as far as makeup, uh, there was a time in my life that I really stopped wearing makeup because I was feeling bad and I didn't realize at the time that it had to do with gluten and I couldn't understand and so there was a long period of time that I just I really stopped wearing any makeup whatsoever just because I felt better and I didn't know why and usually people think oh I put on lipstick and I feel better and in my case it's like I put on lipstick and I feel bad and so yeah things that I learned along the way um things that I learned in my journey that made things simpler for me, that made things easier. Now it's still, and since 2013, there are still things that I'm learning. So it is not something that you automatically know the first couple years and say, okay, I'm done. I know everything about gluten. I know everything there may be about celiac disease or testing or anything like that and things that I wish I had done and I didn't do. So those are information and ideas for videos that I have that I want to put out there. And even interviewing my husband, how he, um, you know, there was, I just want to say through our marriage, how it affected our marriage and how, like I said, how it affected our kids being uh, young kids and not being able to have foods that they saw their friends eating inside because uh, just for an example, a couple months ago, my son had to tell his friend when they stopped at a fast food restaurant, you can't bring that in the house because my mom, it, she, it'll make her sick. So it's just things like that. Also with my children and how they deal with their friendships. And and that's kind of how I want to go forward, I think, with, um, with my channel and just expressing my day-to-day -day lifestyle of what I've learned. And I, I'm a Southern girl here talking with my hands. <laughs> I'll put them down. <laughs> but yeah, it's just... Um, 
that's kind of what I'm thinking of going forward and, and how I want to proceed with my channel. And uh, also going a little bit more because it's so hard to list things down in the description. You only get so much information. Um, really utilizing my blog. I have right now on my blog and I'll try to put links. I've kind of put that information down within the last um, few films and videos that I've done. So if you want a checklist of items that I'm using and things that are really been tested by me and I they have had no issue as far as any sensitivity wise or anything like that, I have put that into different categories because that's how I, I express my uh, channel as far as gluten-free, beauty, food, and lifestyle. So I've kind of formatted it that way on my blog. So if you guys are looking for beauty and you want to know the products that I'm using, that information is listed down below in a short list, but it's on my blog and it takes you to all things that I use in skincare, liquid makeup, powder foundation, eyeshadows, which are the brands, and I do have it in brands, but I also have it in categories of what are the items that I really truly test out, use, love. These are the products and nothing goes on that list if I don't like it. Now there are some things that I have used. I have a video about it and I made notes but I put a note on that blog where you know if there's a product that I've had an issue with I'll link it to the video that I'm talking about and letting you guys know this is the heads up of something or caution. It could be cross-contaminated that sort of thing but Going forward this year, I really want to start doing that with food items and lifestyle items as well. My beauty items, I've kind of got that covered. But um, yeah, I, I want to know, let's say I you guys want to know about snacks, I'll have that categorized for you guys, or flowers that I use, or baking supplies that I use, something to that sort of easy check off, here's my list, this is what I want to do. So um that's that's kind of how I want to refocus this channel and really get into things. Like I said, I deal with anxiety and depression. I find that if I take certain supplements or vitamins, that uh, gets less for me. So I want to kind of let you guys know what's working for me. I am not a doctor. I don't have any background in that, but uh, it's it's a personal opinion. So you know, you guys can see what's working for me. Take that to your. Um, your doctor or you decide what's best for you in your home, your lifestyle, and seeing how things work for you and seeing things that work for me. So uh, if you guys are interested in that information, let me know more. If you have ideas for a video, I would highly appreciate that as well. Just let me know down in the comments. That's just kind of what I'm thinking for now. So I hope you're all doing well. Have a happy, healthy, and gluten-free day, and I will see you guys in my next video. Take care. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.